Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke C in a HGV and in this video we're going to be checking out some POIs on the TomTom Tom Go Professional 6200. Uh, it's got 50,000 POIs uh, built into the SatNav and um, in this video I'm just going to be testing out a couple of them. We are in Marlborough right now, which is in between Swindon and Salisbury. Yeah. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the SatNav now and we're going to go into my places and then at the bottom I believe it comes up with all these options so we've got DKV gas stations heavy trucks DKV gas stations medium trucks now personally I would say that I am a medium truck um, I'm not very tall well, I'm, I'm relatively tall but I'm not very long but I've got four axles and four axles means you turn um, well, you turn the circles a lot bigger. Uh, it's harder to get round tight places because my back wheels, turning wheels, are halfway, almost halfway down the body rather than right at the front. So turning is quite difficult. Therefore, I would classify myself as needing to go into a gas station big enough for, for large lorries. So we're going to hit heavy trucks. Just going to see what it says. I've not really used this feature too much. So um, what does it come up with? So it's searching for the POIs. Uh, and it, there we go, look, so it's finding the closest, well, I believe the closest uh, POI is available. So the closest one is uh, 16 miles away on the A419. So um, that is actually quite far away. I believe it's more closer to me. I'm not entirely sure why it's done that. I mean, there's, there are petrol stations around here that I could get this truck into, but it's not coming up on this. So, um, never mind. We'll make our way to that one anyway. Drive, because I've got to go back that way to get back to the base. So uh, we'll see what it says when we get there. But uh, let's just see how long it takes to calculate. There we go. See, look, that's the weird thing, right? So. We've, we've gone to DKV uh, petrol stations, but on the way he's already picked up two. So, uh, yeah, a bit odd, but <laughs> never, wait, never mind. Let's go that way anyway and uh, see what happens. Right, I'm currently on my break. Well, I am now, got to have a 45 minute break. I was thinking, I've only been driving for five minutes from when I last spoke to you. Um, I think the reason why I didn't detect petrol stations on the way there is because I put that I was a heavy truck. Um, so maybe if I put that I'm a medium sized truck, it would pick them up. So that's what we're going to do now. So let's just clear the route. Right, so we're going to go to my places, go back down to the bottom. Do, do, do. And rather than hitting gas stations heavy trucks, we're going to get gas stations medium trucks. Now this could be hit and miss because I know for a fact that um, some of the stations it shows me that I can get into, I can't get into. But um, yeah, so we can see here that they're a lot closer. So we've got five and a half miles, Marlborough, Marlborough Road, which is in front of us. And we've also got these ones behind us as well that's picked up. So if we were closer to here, they'd have probably picked that one. In fact, that's probably the second one on the list. So uh, yeah, what we're going to do is actually, once we've had our break, which is in this lay bar here, right at the front. Funny story, my dad's actually in this lay bar and he's at the back. <laughs> so uh, yeah, once we've had our break here, we'll go back on the A346, where there's two minutes traffic up ahead. And we go all the way to this petrol station in Chiseldon. We'll check that out, see if we can get in or not. And then we will then go to the original one, which is on the A419 up here, which I'm assuming if a large truck can get into, a medium truck can get into as well. So, before we drive off, let's just pick this one here on Chiseldon. This is the one we're going to go to. Uh, it's an SO station on Marlborough Road. Hit drive, hit continue. There we go, we will be there in 9 minutes and 30 seconds once we start going. So we're turning left into this garage here.
which is supposed to be big enough for a truck. You have reached your destination, Marlborough Road. It is on your left. Um, I don't think I can get around that way actually. I think that's a bit too tight on that one there, so what I'll do is I'll jump in here. And if I were really filling up with fuel and things, then I would I would be taking up both sides of the pumps to, to do it. But while we're here, we're now search for another one. Can you do it via search? Do do do. Go back a second. So my places go straight back down to the bottom. We want heavy. Uh, medium truck gas stations and hopefully it'll pick up some more should pick up the one we're on now I guess yeah so it doesn't actually say how many miles away it is because it's the one here um, so which one should we go to now what's this one so that's on Dorkham Way that's off our route though that we're going to be taking where are we Let's go to this one, because this is the one that I'm going to be driving past. Drive. Okay, let's go. Get out of here. Okay, right, welcome back. We are just about to pull up to the second POI, which is the SAU station on the A419. So I can see it now, up ahead. So this is for medium trucks. Um, it also was for um, heavy trucks. It was taking me here all the way from Moldra. If I was a heavy truck. So um, I should have no problems getting into here at all. So here we go. £1.11 for both petrol and diesel. You have reached your destination. There we go. HGV fuel to the left. And uh, here we go. So we could fill up here if we wanted to. Nice and easy. So yeah, that's really good. I, I like how they work. If you don't know where the petrol stations are, then you can um, sort of just search them and tell you where the nearest one is. But um, there's another one up here as well that I've actually named myself. That star there is Siren Sister Services, uh, and I know for a fact that you can get large trucks in there because you can actually stay there for the night as well. So yeah, that's all done. Really impressed with the POIs. Like I said, there's 50,000 POIs on the TomTom Tom Good Professional 6200, and um, yeah, it's a really good sat nav, and I'm really enjoying it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to me, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, give me a cheeky like as well. And don't forget to um, go onto my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash in the HGV. Thank you very much. Until next time, drive safe.